fucking way. It looks incredible, it really does. Now tucked in here, he cuts it very, very fine. And that's naturally because of his flight style. He will fly very low to the floor. One reason for that is because this bird is hunting mainly ground quarry prey. And so he doesn't want to be coming up from a great height. He wants to be down low so he can tackle his prey on the floor. And this bird, like I say, he is a very keen hunter. And the way he tackles his prey has many different techniques. The main one is the size of his feet. They're absolutely huge. And that's one of the typical way a bird of prey will kill its prey is with its feet. And so it's going to be a bird of prey. Just check them out. They're absolutely huge. And he has a locking mechanism in those feet, uh, which we call a ratchet system. And that ratchet system, when he brings onto his prey, it allows him to squeeze tighter and tighter until his prey is simply no more. This bird has the power to squeeze a baboon skull in white. That's all he has to do. It's unbelievable, it really is. He's also silent in flight. There's no noise whatsoever when he flies. And next time he takes off, I'll be quiet. And you guys can see if you can actually hear anything. I bet you won't. No noise at all. All you hear is the ooze as he goes over your head. That's all you hear. The way he does it, he has serrated edges on his feathers, which allow the air to pass through them rather than hitting them dead off. That then creates next to nothing noise which is a perfect technique for being stealthy. One final thing this bird has is the colour of his eyes. He's got these big black eyes, and that immediately tells us what time of the day this bird will come out in. Because of those black eyes, he comes out in the dead of night, so he's a nocturnal predator. And simply, he sneaks up on his prey when they're asleep, and that allows him to take down prey up to the size, um, double his size, even three times his size. Um, it's absolutely incredible, it really, really is. However, saying all that, Tolkien, he's been here all his life, and he wouldn't hurt a fly. I can say that from personal experience. He's one of the nicest birds you'll ever meet. And if there's anything he's perfected, it has to be the Hawk Conservancy Trust style slick exit. So once he's up there, on that post, all he has to do is turn himself around, just like this. He knows where he lives. Look at that. Bang on cue. Keep going, Tolkien. All the way home. That was Tolkien.